So the police are here, which means all of the illegal stands have cleared out. What is going on, Pikes? It is a beautiful sunny day here in Santiago. I just posted the Embalze El Yezo vlog and I'm super excited to just have another vlog up. It had been a few days. I took a couple extra days editing that video and just a little bit of time off. Basically since I've gotten to Santiago, bow, I've been posting pretty regularly which is awesome and I just needed a couple days to kind of chill and uh, refresh myself a little bit but after taking that trip up into the mountains I am so excited for our trips later this month at the end of the month we are going to be going north we're gonna see the desert bloom we're gonna go to Valley de Lunas which is Valley of the Moon right then mm -hmm. and after that I think we're gonna go south but for now guys, we're gonna be still shooting the vlogs in Santiago. I hope you're still enjoying them. There's still like so much to explore here, but I am really excited to go other places as well. Right now, we are headed to Chinatown. And uh, yeah, Chinatown's always good, right? Okay. Right? Okay. Let's go check it out. I wanna do some shopping. Woo! This is my first time over here at Estacion Central. This is not only a subway station, but it's also a train station. This is so wild. going on here. We gotta be able to find some food in this. Hola. Hola buena. Quanto queso empanada de queso? Mil. Un mil? Si. Mucho <laughs> gracias. One fried queso empanada for un mil pesos or about two Australian dollars. I've had a couple of fried queso empanadas. Let's give this one a go. It's good, it's good. Mmm, that was good, but I need more food. Chinatown, baby? Chinatown, but also maize. Maize. The generation knows it's Chinatown. All the yeah, others, it's turning into Chinatown. Welcome to Chinatown. No. The food is gone because the police is here. So the police are here, which means all of the illegal stands have cleared out. Which is pretty much like half of the <laughs> So the street is like much more barren right now. Usually there'd be like blankets on the ground filled with different crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like plastic things. <laughs> oh yeah. Uno. Uno. Si. Two Australian dollars for all these, I'll take it. So as you guys can see, it is super busy today. I think it's because it's gonna be children's day soon. Basically everyone is selling children's toys. <laughs> you just look behind me here, all toys. It's like Duncan's toy chest from Home Alone, <laughs> lost in New York. Now honestly, the closest thing this reminds me of here is like being at Disney World. Cause you got stands all over, there's people walking around. I feel like I'm at an amusement park here. So after that greasy street food, a drink sounds better than anything right now. We're inside this little mall outlet and we're grabbing a can of pop here for 600 pesos, which is just over one Australian dollar. I'm talking in Australian dollars because that's what I still have in my wallet and it's 500 pesos per one Australian dollar. And for US it's like 680, so it's just easier. But on the streets there's a lot of fresh juice vendors, but it's like 
un mil pesos or a thousand, which is two Australian dollars. And basically we're just looking for a better price. Gracias. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, baby. Completely flat. I guess that's the risk you run. <laughs> Guys, check these out. This is like the closest thing to a kendama that I've found here. I really want to buy one. It's about five Australian dollars. 2,500 pesos. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna do some tricks on it later for you guys. I, I couldn't remember how to say Kiro. So I just said C. C. <laughs> Kiro is I want. Good enough. They look cute. You look cute. Hey. <laughs> Ote, ote. <laughs> Alright guys, that was a really fun time in Chinatown. We're topping it off with some mixto kono. <laughs> Again? Kono mixto or a twist cone from McDonald's. They're actually really good here. I don't know why. I had one a couple weeks back. I think it was in the vlog. But we're gonna start heading back towards our part of town. What is up guys? So it is actually like four days since we went to Chinatown. I just haven't been vlogging honestly. We just haven't really doing vlog worthy things and we've been doing other stuff. Like I'm looking into teaching English online, trying to find an income to support this lifestyle and continue making these vlogs and traveling. Uh, we've been planning the trip north, which we made good progress on tonight. We're going to be doing more after this. So when we were in Chinatown, I bought this, and it's called an Mboke, or in English, I believe it's called a Bolero. And I did a little research on it, and it actually dates back to the 14th century here in Chile. So I picked it up because I'm a kendama player, and this is a Japanese skill toy dating back to the 16th century. If you can hear the TV next door, don't pay attention to it, it's just my neighbor watching TV. We pretty much hear it all the time. So I am so freaking excited about this thing. I've never played with anything like this before. The kendama is a lot more complex with like more stall positions and a hole in the ball. And this just has the hole in the cup up top. But basically, I'm still having a ton of fun playing with this thing. And I told you guys I was gonna do some tricks for you. So I'm gonna bust out some tricks. Alrighty, I played with this thing a little bit, but uh, I'm still learning. Sweatshirt coming off, it's hot in here. Okay, so those are some tricks I converted from the kendama to the mboke. And there's one last trick I wanna get that I haven't landed yet. And in kendama, it's basically called a whirlwind. It's where you take the kendama, you throw the ball up and have it turn one time. And while it's flipping, you take the handle of the kendama and you flip it one time as well, and then you spike it back together. Like so. I'm gonna do it on the mboke. One more thing I wanted to point out, when I was editing the Chinatown footage, I realized there's no Chinese people actually in any of my footage and I thought you guys might notice that. And the reason they call it Chinatown is, is basically the warehouses around that area actually have a lot of stores in them as well. And that is where a lot of the main sales go on. And the owners of all those, if you look inside, there's a Chinese dude sitting at the desk running the place. It was really funny, I just didn't catch it on film. Okay, last thing I wanna talk about. 
the postcard giveaway. I kind of forgot, kind of put it off, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna run it for like three more days if you're interested in winning this postcard and I will put a personal message to one of you guys on the back, send it anywhere in the world. You just have to head over to my Facebook page, like my page and share the post uh, in the original vlog that I talked about this. I'll link it down in the description, maybe somewhere on the screen here. But uh, if you're interested, go over there. There's like five or six people who have shared it, so you have a pretty good chance of winning. So it's like 9 p.m., guys. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today. Franny and I had a fun time exploring Chinatown. And yeah, she's just watching a little anime. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of anime lately. We're both super geeks and yeah, we love it. But if you guys could please like this video, subscribe to the channel. The trip north coming up is gonna be so epic. You guys don't wanna miss it. And we will catch you guys back here for the next vlog. Should be in a couple days. We'll see you then. Peace. Thank you.